Thank you so much for coming. Welcome. Are we having fun yet? Yeah! I'm really glad to be here because I had the most unusual weekend. I noticed uh, an unusual and disturbing pattern that happened with everyone I spoke to. Every single person I met made a lot of eye contact and really wanted to talk to me about detailed things. Everywhere I went, now I'm a clown, it's my job to basically be emotionally naked, so it was weird that everyone was doing it back to me. They were making, I mean, a lot of connection. I went to a birthday party on Saturday and it was, I would sit down and put a drink in my hand and people would tell me their life stories in rather vivid detail. Naked detail, just naked detail. And, and then on Sunday, not that I, I never saw them. I looked the other way to protect you. I didn't, I, I try to protect my friends. I don't know. In the meantime, by Sunday, Sunday is the one day I impersonate a normal person. I put on clothes like yours and I go grocery shopping. You can imagine how much fun it must be to go grocery shopping with a clown, right? It's just like, oh, look, lemons. <laughs> they won't let me in the produce aisle anymore. But I was standing there, and I, I'm not a young clown. I, I'm, I was standing there, and I had to pee. So I put down the eggplant, and I, I started walking to the bathroom. Five conversations between the produce section and the bathroom in the back of the store. Five complete conversations, including one that came back and found me to give me further thoughts on their feelings with very strong eye contact. <laughs> After I had finished the business that didn't have anything to do with the eggplant. By this morning, I'm wondering what the heck is up with planet Earth? And I'm preparing for this evening and I go, oh, I get it. Holidays of fun, Halloween's over, <laughs> and we're heading into the holidays of familial, shall we say, obligation. Ugh, it's terrible. I love that I get to hang out with my family of choice every week. It's great. You guys like it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's the best for me. But I, all, and you know, some people are, are tight with their actual family, and that that's awesome. I I think that's great. But then there's that family of obligation. You know, the ones that say you really should show up or you really ought to you know do that thing we were talking about whatever it is that's making you really mad me just bringing it up but i'm really sorry making a lot of eye contact saying i'm sorry backing away the point is this is a heightened topic and everyone knows they're about to go into something that i referred to a year ago as an emotional meat grinder there's a vision isn't it <laughs> i'm a children i'm a children's entertainer i use phrases like that because i know it's true we're heading into a tough time. You're going to want to explode. I actually gave the piece of advice. If you find yourself sitting across from a relative and you want to stab them with a fork, don't. Make it through the weekend, come back here on Monday. The most important thing I can be proudly say is we went through heck to get right here, to move this show, to do all these things we've done, to grow and to, and to build into this. And now I can tell you right now, we are on target. We will be here for you every Monday from now through the end of the year and beyond. I promise you that. And you're going to find the opportunity to want to express yourself. Do it up here. Do it in spoken word. Say something. Even if it isn't pretty, we'll back your play. If, if, you, if you want to dance it out, please dance it the heck out. We want to see it. If you want to share it with us, we want to listen. I know this is the best room in the world for this. And sometimes the most brilliant things have come out of that emotional aggression. Hang in there. It's going to be a tough ride, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. And if you find yourself at these holiday gatherings and you find yourself going, where's the weird uncle I can hang out with and you can't find him? That's because it's you. I would like to personally welcome each and every one of you to the Weird Uncle's living room. We call it the open stage.